This is the fifth year that we've had Rib Fest, and uh, Brian Mark started it originally. Uh, I competed in it the first year and had so much fun. I, I talked to Brian about it, and I said, hey, can I help you organize this and, and try to make this a good event that we can keep doing for years and years? And so that's, uh, that's how we, he and I got together doing this piece of it. This year I'm doing 24 racks of ribs. I've got uh, six Weber grills that I do and I can, I can fit four of them on each one. A lot of the people that come here are friends of all the cooks because uh, we're always obviously talking about it. We get really excited about it as a cook. We really do. We enjoy you know, the preparing for it, working on recipes. We make all of our relatives sick of beating ribs because they got to try this stuff out because we got to change them. And, and so it's it's really, really fun because uh, everybody's involved. The whole family. I got my whole family here today just uh, help me out with this thing. And, you know, everybody's, uh, everybody's part of it. <laughs> I've got a rub that I have, it's a, I call it a sweet spicy rub, uh, so I've got a rub that I have that I really enjoy and, and uh, that's kind of the base of what I do. Uh, and then after that, uh, it just it little tweaks here and there, little things. Like this year I put some maple syrup in it, we'll see if they like that or not. <laughs> cost with no charge to the patient and so we rely on community donations in order to make those services possible and that's why uh, events such as RibFest are so important for us. This fundraising event is very important to us in order to be able to continue providing the services that we are providing in the community. The shelter facility, the whole program is for the community and domestic violence does occur within this community uh, very frequently and the money is will fill in the gaps where government funding and foundation funding and private donations and, and the fundraising is awesome. Um, we do have funding from United Way and the Community Development Block Grant. So with the increasing costs of utilities and things like that, and maybe try to give the staff a bit of a raise each year, um, this, this fundraising event is very important to us. These are extremely important to our community, extremely important to anybody that has been associated with them. I mean, if you've used either one of those agencies, you'll really realize how important and really how special they are. As an event like this, we get a lot of people that come in. You know, you see today we've got a lot of folks just kind of milling around, and it's a beautiful day. And you know, you might as well make a little money for a charity, and, and so we, we have the opportunity to do that. We've raised about thirty thousand dollars in the first four years. Uh, our goal is to raise another ten thousand dollars this year. It's not a huge amount, but I'll tell you what, it means a lot to the agencies.